Hello. À, nhóm uh, các em mà H17 các em uh, bắt đầu thuyết trình đi các em. Um, hello everyone. At first, I would like to say af good afternoon to everyone. Uh, our group is uh, Group 7 and we will represent about aviation disaster, which is MS-17. Our presentations have five parts. The introduction about a crash, instrument impact, solutions, the fluctuation of the world insurance market. This is our group member. So first I will talking about the introduction. Flight 17, formerly Flight MX-17, were a regularly scheduled 11 and a half hour flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. According to Malaysia Airlines, the plane manufactured in 1997 had a clean maintenance record and in last case was on 11 of July 2014. The aircraft, a Boeing wide body 777-200, registration number is 9M-MRD, took off from Amsterdam Airport to Chipot at uh, 10.31 UTC with a crew of 15. The 283 passengers on the board resented unlit nationalities, including 193 Netherlanders, notably Sanders Joplin, who was enrolled to an AIDS conference in Melbourne. So in terms of the in initial assessment of the incidents, the flight plan took the aircraft across the entire breadth of Ukraine, including the eastern part of the country, where Russian parking separators and government forces were engaged the combat. Flight 17 flew over these reasons, at an altitude about 32,000 feet, approximately 10,000 meters. In accordance with a minimum altitude restriction put in the place by Ukrainian aviation authorities only three days before. On the same day that the current maturity transport plans were shut down while, while flying at a lower level, the Malaysia Airlines were not alone. As you can see in the right pictures, there will also have a Singapore airline with SQ-341 in the same radar system. As Flight 17 approached the Russian border, the cabin crew engaged the routine communication with air traffic controllers in Nipro Fortress, which is Nipro nowadays in Ukraine. And Rostov never knew Russia until before 30-20 UTCs. After that, verbal communications from flight 17 ceased, but no distress signal were received. Shortly before 30-26, the aircraft disappeared from the radar screen. The safety board said the plane lost contact with the air traffic control at 30-20 Greenwich Mean Time when it's for about 50 kilometers from the Russian ukraine borders, Malaysia Airlines internationally set the plane's lost contact at 14.15 in which meantime. About witnesses, they reported a minor explosion with request was scattered over area about 20 square miles, but the largest concentration were found about in farmlands and a view of area just southwest of the village of Rabov, Ukraine, in separated health territories. Rescue workers arrived wrongly, and they separated handing over the flight data recorder and the public voice recorder of Malaysia authorities. But the armed conflicts greatly complicated the, invest in the investigation. The missions organized by the Dutch Ministry of Defense did not reach the site until November, some three and a half months after the event. 
Research to analyze recorded data and the press properly reconstructed the foolish skin of the aircraft. After cooling out the bad weather, pilot arrow, me mechanical fire or onboard fire or explosion, they concluded that the crash was caused by detonation of warhead from a rather good emissions fire from a bug, also called SA-11, surface to the system as well more than capable of reaching the cruising altitudes about Flight 17. The missiles never stopped the aircraft like place. Instead, as attendance, its warhead exploded a few feet away from corporate. Probably hundreds of national rushmen from the first place. The cabin crew was killed instantly. And the forward system of the current of the aircraft broke off the wind's passenger compartment and the tails remain in the air at least a minute longer before separating and dropping to the crowd. We have uh, we have repaired our emanating video. In the early afternoon of July the 17th, 2014, a Boeing 777-200 of Malaysia Airlines departs Amsterdam Airport Schiphol for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The flight is prepared as usual, and the aeroplane is in an airworthy condition. On board of flight MH17 are 283 passengers and 15 crew members. The routing of this flight leads via Germany, Poland and Ukraine to the east a standard routing to Asia that many airlines use. Flight MH17 enters Ukrainian airspace at an altitude of 33,000 feet, following airway Lima 980. The crew diverts a short distance to the north to avoid some thunderstorms when returning to the airway in the eastern part of Ukrainian airspace. In this region, an armed conflict between the Ukrainian government and armed groups is in progress. Therefore, lower levels of the airspace are restricted for civil air traffic. Flight MH17 is routed above this restricted airspace to waypoint Romeo November Delta in the Russian Federation. Until that moment, the flight proceeds normally. When flight MH17 is above the eastern part of Ukraine, a buck surface-to-air missile system fires a missile. It travels almost at three times the speed of sound and carries a 9N314M model warhead. Inside it is an explosive core surrounded by two mantles containing preformed iron fragments. Radar guides it to its target where it is detonated by means of a proximity fuse. A buck surface to air missile can reach an altitude of 80,000 feet, exceeding the flight altitude of flight MH17 by far. At 20 minutes and 3 seconds past 1, this warhead explodes to the left and above the cockpit of MH17. About 800 preformed fragments perforate the aeroplane. This impact, combined with the blast of the explosion, causes the cockpit and the business class section to separate. As it descends, the aeroplane disintegrates. This episode of Real Engineering is brought to you by the Curiosity Ness, according to the Dutch selfie board, the remunerary three port point two was an extensional cost of MS-17 crash. They said no evidence of technical forms. Fly MS-17 with Boeing 777-200, operated by Malaysia Airlines, broke up in the air rapidly at the resource of structural remnants caused by a large of number of high-energy objects that penetrated the aircraft from the outside. This is mentioned in Remory report on the re investigation into the crash of MS-17 that have been published today by the Dutch safety board. There is no indication that the MS-17 crashed the cause by the technical fault or by the action of crew. The cockpit voice recorder, the flight data recorder, and the data from 
traffic controls on the jet that fly MH17 persisted at a normal until 13 hours 20 minutes and 3 seconds UTC, after, after which it ended abruptly. A full listening of communications among the crew members in the cockpit recorded on the cockpit voice recorder reveals no sign of any technical faults or any emergency situation. Neither there were any warning tones heard in the cockpit that might be held pointed to technical problem. The flight data recorder resisted no aircraft victim warning. The aircraft engine, engine's parameters were consistent with normal aberration during the flight. The radio communications with Ukrainian air traffic control confirmed that no emergency call was made before the cockpit crew. The final call by Ukrainian air traffic control was made between uh, 30, min 30 hours 20 minutes and 30 hours 22 minutes and 2 seconds UTC remains unanswered. The patent of workers on the crowd suggest that the aircraft split into the business during flights that's called an in-flight breakup. Based on the invaluable maintenance history of airlines was airworthy, then when it took off the MTAP from Amsterdam and there was no non-technical problem, the aircraft was manned by a qualified and experienced crew as well. Next, in storm of patent of damage. As yet, it has not been possible to conduct a detailed study of workers. However, the available image show that this is a workers was first in a number of places. The patents of damage to the aircraft flourish and the carpet uh, inconsistent with the wish we may be expected from a large number of high energy objects that penetrated the aircraft from outside. This is likely like a damage resource in a loss of structural integrity, integrity of the aircraft leading to the in-flight breakup. It also explains the abrupt end into the data registration of recorder. The simulation lost the contact with the air traffic control and the aircraft disappeared from the data. Next is about the criminal investigation, which is represents by not one. Um, thank you to Hao. And now I will continue to talk about the criminal investigation. After the rush, the Iranian government and the Russia passed everything, have blamed each other for the attack. Iranian officials said a Russian map bot and one missile system thrown into Eastern Ukraine from Russia so that the plane. Kale also a key review of moving degrees, destroying evidence and removing 38 bodies from the scene. Russia later denied accusation that it did not have a weapon modern enough to shoot down shirt a high flying lane and also did not move the bodies of the victim. Then in June 2019, the GIT named four men it alleged were involved in bringing the missile into the area in Eastern Ukraine and charged them with the murder of 298 passengers in drill. It announced that the international arrest warrant had been issued. The suspects are one Michael Gherkin, a former colonel in Russia FSB Intelligence Service. He was given the Minister of Defense title in the review held Austin in the Iranian city of Donetsk. Two, Shigedu Spinky, who was employed by Russia GIU Military Intelligence Agency, was a deputy of Mr. Gherkin and was in regular contact with Russia. Three, Oleg Pulato, a former soldier of GIU Special Forces and a deputy head of intelligence service in Donetsk. For Leonid Kachenko, a Ukrainian national who had no military background but led a combat unit as a commander in Eastern Ukraine. On four are involved in the Russian by military operation in Eastern Ukraine, and three Russian have ties to Russian intelligence agency. The latter is Iko Gherkin. Gherkin suddenly returned to Russia within a month of the flight 17 crash. Dutch investigators also concluded that the missile belongs to a Russia betray. 
About the aftermath, I will talk about what happened to the plane and who were the victims. It said that the rust was caused by the detonation of a Russell Mag 9MG14 M Thai warhead carried on a 9MG8 M1 missile launched from the eastern part of Ukraine using a perp missile system. The weapon system used were identified from the damaged person of the red gate, as well as fragments of sharp no foul. Traces of pen on a number of missile fragments also match the pen on a part of missile recovered in the area. Investigators simulated various directories of the warhead to establish where it is loaded and found that a 70 kilogram warhead closely matched the damage of shell on the rig. They saw that it is loaded about 4 meters about the tip of the area snow on the left of the cockpit showing the plane with fragment of the warhead. Here are some pictures about the MH-17 drafts. The forward section of the plane were penetrated by hundreds of high-energy objects from the warhead, killing the tree crew in the cockpit immediately and causing the plane to break up in stasis. First, the cockpit dropped away, but the plane continued its flight. After a short time, the wind tip came up and the rear of the plane dropped away, with the tail section then separating further. The main body of the plane crossed into the ground upside down. Investigators believe that it was between 60 and 90 seconds after the cockpit came up that the rest of the aircraft hit the ground. Who were the victims? A total of 283 passengers, including 80 children and 15 crew members, were killed on the flight. The death included 193 Dutch nationals, 43 Malaysian, 27 Australian, 12 Indonesian, 10 Britain, 4 Belgian, 4 German, 3 Philippine nationals, 1 New Zealand, and 1 Canadian. A list seat of those killed were dead on the way to an international conference on ice in Melbourne, Australia. Next up, we will talk about the insurance impact. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Ben. Now we are going to battery. Insurance impact of Malaysia Airlines flight MS-17 RAT. The first was the aviation insurance. Aviation insurance is the insurance specifically for the operation of aircraft and risk related to the air transportation, including good and people, and not only an aviation insurance product, including airline, how insurance, how insurance, first party liability, insurance, how deductible, lot of life, personal accident, water party labor liability. How total loss, contention and versus how and liability, and not one in low and according to Catherine Thomas, an analytic director at AM Best, why the exact detail of this accident are yet to be determined. The total amount of insurance plan will likely in low compensation for passenger and material compensation of the arrest. I am best sure the liability lot will be set between the insurance and reinsurance markets. Earlier on SE2 is basically like subsidiary. Earlier on global corporate and basically SE is a list reinsure on aviation how and liability reach from Malaysia Airlines. With the line markets also likely to be affected by passenger liability lane, as will a number of global reinsurance due to the nature of the loss, a complex and lengthy settlement period is anticipated. And next, none will talk about solution.
Hello everyone. Now I will continue the presentation with the part for solution. In the case of MS17 being struck down in insurance, insurance company would uh, have to pay to type compensation uh, for passenger family and compensation for air damage. According to uh, ALN's uh, rocker specializing in monitoring uh, the aviation insurance market, the lens that encounters on accidents for sure about $97.3 million. A group of, a group of uh, insurance company led by Allianz Germany would be responsible for covering the unrest policy. According to Sengay, president of aviation risk, uh, management consulting from gay aviation. This, uh, this uh, accident could hardly be concluded a uh, careless, since at the same time many other aircraft were also operating around. Mr. Michael Elias Bosman said uh, MLICI allies men ran to for her and liability. Alliance would always be uh, there to support customer promptly and fully. According to according to uh, financial time under uh, an international area agreements on compensation for land system, if Malaysia Airlines were found not to have uh, to have been uh, snared on their obligation to its passenger would cut at just over $170,000, equivalent to $51 million in total. But if the airlines were found to have my, uh, this massive insurance, insurance uh, premium could risk hundreds of millions of dollars. In this case of a controversial call, uh, the two insurance groups could agree to list the uh, Biman SMA, the scale of MS37 out the Siberian Infrast, and best its length. That they are uh, small, certainly around automatic scope of physical damage, losing the K600 with it, with uh, with a uh, managed by a dream underwriter will confirm that it a deleter of the house for policy for uh, for Malaysia Airlines. The syndicate is still still in so have uh, a way to settle the house for uh, for effort of the loss and collection of funds have been integrated subject to K as uh, remaining correct. Trans ribbon on aviation lawyer in Melbourne, uh, Australia slammed that on the back of the victim family. Uh, they could sue in any country related to the the trend, the downslam. They would likely uh, receive millions of dollars on the basis of slot income and uh, family support. Next, how uh, we'll rest on uh, the next part of this presentation of the Thank you, Thanh Ngân. Hi, everyone. I'm Thanh Thảo. Now, I will lead you to the last one of our presentation. That's fluctuation of one in insurance market. Catherine Thomas, one of the authors of the Riffing says, for a number of years, abundant capacity has placed considerable pressure on rising as well as terms and conditions across on aviation line. At the beginning of 2014, grades were significantly below peak levels. However, in spite of a number of class losses in recent years, the market had remained profitable eventually. For the niche quarish market, losses this year would considerably outweigh premium return that make insurers to be expected to react with substantial grade increases. In addition, AMBED says it delays the majority of the class will be absorbed by the closed market, as well as a number of global insurers and reinsurers. Given the diversified nature of business under Brighton, 
by these entities. I think that it's not expect to take any great actions in response to this single car loss. Aviation insurance is a specialized playground for some insurer reinsurance, so these losses could surely stop the delay in fees over the past decade. To this thing, market assessment include hand and liability insurance and coverage insurance were forecast to be affected to varying decrease. Most experts expected coverage insurance to triple, for on risk insurance, the level of increase would be difficult to reduce. In the first sight after impact, the United States market is the largest aviation insurance market in the world in high specificity. Mr. Mark Promo Smith, chairman of Corporate Aviation Insurance Group, claimed that the U.S. insurance market would have been affected much by catastrophic accident in the past due to two reasons. First, in MAS2 disaster, one was caused by terrorism. Terrorism so compensation would be backed by a separate fund of the warish markets so that the fees of on risk policy would not be affected. Second, the accident occurs outside the United States and the insured person were not an individual or organization of the United States. In the other side, about the market distinguished from the United States. According to experienced expert, underwriter in the law's market and the world lifting reinsurance reinsurers reacted quickly to clauses in the world in the 2014-2015 reinstatement season to make up for clauses that has occurred in the past about coverage insurance. According to estimate by the Financial Times, insurers were predicted to have to pay $600 million in compensation only for major clauses in the year compared to the amount of fees collected around 60 and 80 million US dollars for 2014 about on risk insurance. In fact, the two markets of on risk and war risk were separate, so basically, the on risk markets in 2014 were not much different from 2013 because in 2013 also witnessed for catastrophic plant accident. Consequently, the losses burn insurance company quantities over $500 million. Therefore, it could be seen that the hand and liability market reacted cautiously to recent losses fee in increase in the 2014-2015 reinstatement season, but reinsurance capital continued to be pulled into the reinsurance markets, reached 570 billion dollars on June 30, 2014, an increase of 6% compared to 2013, stopped the fee acceleration of this market. Obviously, in particular, Vietnam aviation markets. Insurance premium of Vietnam aviation markets in the first six months of 2014 reached 260 billion Vietnam dong, with down 9.2 percent over the same period in 2013. This degree was in line with the general downward trend of the world markets. However, confronting the general increase in fees of the world rich and orange markets in the world, Vietnam big fleets were predicted to be directly affected as for water 2014 and later. After on, there are some references that we have been working on to distribute our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Is there any part of you about the topic? Please direct the question, then we will resolve this with later. Hope you enjoy our speech. Hello. So does anyone have any questions for this group? No answer as usual. Okay. So I have a minor comments for your groups. Uh, this is uh, very interesting presentation. Thank you very much for your own efforts and um, your slides.
Uh, teacher, you forgot to turn on your mic. Oh, I'm sorry, I was kicked out of the room. Okay. Um, I repeated your slide. Uh, it's presented very professional and very well. Uh, you did it on the canvas, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a very innovative method. And um, it's very nice and very good slides. And I think this is the, the most interesting, the most professional slides among your uh, classmates. And but one thing is that we know that any accidents, uh, we don't feel happy, but we feel a little bit sad, right? But um, uh, this is your choice, but under my point of view, and uh, when you put the color black and white, this is so heavy and uh, it casts uh, the mood are uh, so heavy. So I think it's better that you uh, change to the, the another color, a little lighter, so to attract people more than merely to put the uh, black and white color. So yes, it's uh, impressive but this cause the bad mood, you know? And in your slide, uh, you presented the uh, four information solutions for the insurance uh, compensation and also present about the insurance market. Yeah, you have invested to work on this very good. And uh, uh, I give you nine marks for the slide and uh Thu Hao will have nine mark, Ngoc Win Nang, Ngoc Bin 8.5, Thanh Nguyen 8.5 and Phạm Thanh Thảo 9. So thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you. Yes, thank you teacher. Thanks for your compliment. I will uh, face it for the next time. Yeah, thanks.